right, what is going on today, guys? Today, we are back in the truck. The truck is officially down here now um, and down in Georgia, and I'm really happy it's here. Um, I missed this thing, and as you may have seen on Instagram, I said that there were a couple things that we were gonna need to do with it. Um, there's gonna be a couple of necessary repairs slash upgrades. Um, we're still having a bit of a driveline vibration problem, um, which needs to be sorted out, and I'm not sure if, crap, I just turned the wipers on. Um, but yeah, it's got some sort of a driveline vibration issue going on, and I'm not sure if it's drive shaft related or transfer case related or something along those lines. Um, but the other thing is we need to um, we need to start, sort out a steering solution. Um, I'm probably gonna go with a upgraded steering box. I saw the ones that people really like are the redhead steering boxes, so I may go with that. Um, but regardless, those, there are a couple things that we need to do and we need to sort out, but we're gonna be sorting those out uh, really, really soon and uh, should, be, should be good. Should be uh, good to go once those are sorted out. So something I feel like I should talk about because a lot of you guys have been asking me to talk about it lately. Um, a lot of guys, you have, a lot of you guys have been asking me to talk about this lately, and I I haven't yet, but I may as well go, go ahead and get it out of the way now. And that's why I haven't been driving the truck as much, and why it hasn't been showing up as much on social media, and you know Instagram and stuff like that. Why it hasn't been showing up as much on the channel, and the honest reason for that is literally just because I haven't been driving it as much, and the reason for that is just because there's been some you know some of these issues with it the driveline issues and stuff like that but the other the other reason why is because i've been driving the frs so much more and because of that driveline issue i haven't really wanted to drive the truck that much and so it hasn't been getting actually been getting driven as much so i but the reason why it hasn't been fixed yet is just because i've been so so busy over the past couple of months with the moving and uh let's see moving ch uh channel stuff and just um, some other things as well have been like super, super busy for me. And so I just haven't had time to arrange, um, arrange, get like figuring out where I wanna take the truck too. Because like, that's the thing is if I'm gonna have it, if I'm gonna have it, you know, really fixed properly, I wanna take it somewhere that's gonna take good care of it. And part of that is, part of that process is finding a place that I know is gonna take good care of it and, and, and do the repair properly. So that's why it took me, that's why it took me a while to settle on a shop that I liked for the car, um, which I, the, the FRS, I always take to, the FRS, if it needs something, it goes to Zen Motors. Like, that's just where it goes. Because I've developed a relationship with those guys, those guys are really good at what they do, and they, they know what they're talking about, they're always gonna do good work, and I, I know that, that's the thing. Um, and I need to find a place like that for, um, the truck and, and the Jeep as well now that I'm down here. Um, but that's, you know, that's a process in itself and I'm still kind of um, figuring out what I wanna do. I'm actually either later today or uh, possibly early next week, I'm gonna go and check out a couple different shops uh, as far as the truck is concerned. And then when we figure out which shop we wanna go to, that's where we'll take the truck. So the truck is going to be used a lot more. It's actually, once it gets, like once the repairs and upgrades or the next round of repairs and upgrades are done, it's actually gonna go back to being my daily driver. So that's what it was before. And that's what the plan originally was for it. Um, but that kind of uh, had a few, uh, that kind of had a few hiccups considering what, uh, what happened with it when it, when it blew a drive shaft and then it started having a bunch of weird uh, driveline vibration problems. So get to uh, a shop that I, I know and I trust back up in North Carolina, uh, many different times they tried a bunch of different things and they couldn't find the problem. They couldn't figure it out. They were like, at a certain point they were just like, we're sorry, we, we don't know what's going on. And so I was like, okay, fair enough. I'll figure it, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. So what we think it is, is we think there may be something broken inside the transfer case. We're not, it's the thing is we're not sure. Um, all of the U-joints in the front end are new. The front drive shaft U-joints are new. The axle U-joints are new. The wheel bearings are new. Um, even the, um, we even uh, did the pinion, the bearings in the differential itself. We flushed out all the gear oil. We did pretty much almost everything, almost everything. And the noise is still there. So I'm not sure what it actually is. The thing is that the only thing we haven't touched yet is the transfer case. 
and well the transfer case and the transmission um, the transfer case and the transmission are the only things we haven't actually touched yet so I'm I'm gonna be touching the uh, I'm gonna be figuring out what it actually ends up being and I'm, I'll be sure to let you guys know but once I actually find out or once the shop finds out but that's kind of what's next for the truck itself um, the other thing I need to do is do a um, an upgraded steering box like I talked about earlier um, the upgraded steering box is just super necessary I mean like this particular steering box it's still a stock one we'll see how that plays out but um, regardless once all of those things get done there are things I want to do to the truck but I just that's why I haven't really been doing many upgrades is because there are things that need to be fixed and I'm the type of person that doesn't like to upgrade something unless I know that everything else is solid and since everything else isn't quite to the point where it's solid again we are gonna make sure everything is covered before we go back into upgrading the truck um, because I mean once once everything else is solid I mean we're doing a uh, different you know different uh, different bumper different grill we're doing some lighting oh that's actually a really nice fourth gen Cummins on the other side of the road that's that was super nice um, but I plan on doing a couple things here and there, like some uh, maybe a light bar, um, different grill, uh, upgraded, um, different grill, upgraded bumper, um, and we'll see where it goes from there. And I kind of, I, I kind of want to change the wheel and tire setup too, because these these motor metal wheels, I, I used to like them, and I don't really like them as much anymore. Number one, and oh hello, wow, they like almost came over to my lane on me, but. Um, I used to like these moto metal wheels a good bit. I don't like them as much anymore. Like they just never really grew on me. Um, and that's the thing is the end key wheels that I had on the car or that I still have on the car. Um, they, they have been like great. Like I, I put them on the car and I never got tired of them. Like they, that like, it just suited the car so well. I liked the wheels and never had a problem with them. And they just looked great uh, I'll be honest these moto metal wheels the chrome has started to peel and just in a couple of spots the chrome has started to come off and that's not that's not okay that's not cool I mean if you're looking for a I, I wouldn't recommend them let's say that I would not recommend uh, getting these wheels again um, to really to anybody um, I haven't had a great experience with them so I'm definitely at some point gonna change up the wheel and tire setup on the truck itself and I kind of was rolling around the idea of maybe going from this to uh, from a third gen to a fourth gen, but I like the third gens so much. Like it's my favorite body style. It's my favorite. Um, it's like it's my favorite body style. It's still a five nine instead of a six seven. Don't get me wrong. I love the six seven Cummins, but the five nine is just the five nine is just cool. Like there's a way that about the there's something about the way the five nine sounds that just makes it sound so. Um, just so bassy and and uh, it, it's got this booming bass sound to it and uh, I mean listen listen All right, so there you have it guys that is a little update on the truck I'm not my, my last battery died and I'm not sure um, how much footage was actually lost but just to summarize a couple of issues that need to be fixed on it but we're gonna get those out of the way um, as quickly as possible uh, most likely I'm gonna to be in in talks with a shop next week so we're gonna be getting the truck uh, back into back into shop mode and hopefully the repairs don't take too long because I really don't want to like I, I was without this truck for a while because it was getting a bunch of repairs done and um, I, I really like this truck and I like to drive it but the issues need to be fixed first before I can uh, use it as a daily again and um, once that's done though once that's done we'll have a hell of a badass daily and uh, we can let the race car just be for race car duties but anyways hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did don't forget to leave a thumbs up tell me in the comment section below what you guys thought of it and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one talk to you guys later hope you guys enjoyed